Hi, welcome to Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss what is JavaScript object notation that is JSON and how to pass JSON documents in Python. The JSON format was inspired by the object and array format used in JavaScript language. But since Python was invented before JavaScript, Python's syntax for dictionaries and lists influenced the syntax of JSON. So the format of JSON is nearly identical to a combination of Python list and dictionary data structures. Let us take an example to understand how JSON documents looks like. So in this example, the JSON document is exactly similar to the dictionary data structure in Python, which is written within a curly braces and it has key and value pairs. There are three elements in this case. The first element is ID 001 where id is the key and 001 is the value for that particular key. Similar to that, x is uh, a key and 2 is the value for second element. Name is the key and Mahesh is the value for third element. Okay, we will take one more example to understand how JSON is different from dictionaries. So, if you look at this example, in this case, the first three elements are exactly similar to what we have discussed in the previous example. But when it comes to the fourth element, that is phone, this four, phone is a key and it has a dictionary as an element in this case. So that is the nested dictionaries are uh, used or can say that uh, the JSON document contains the nested uh, dictionaries. So phone is an element and it has the dic nest, uh, dictionary as a value for this one. So within this particular dictionary, the type is a key and the mobile is a value number is a key and this is the value for that particular mobile uh, number. Similar to this, uh, email is another uh, element, uh, but uh, the email element is again having the value as a dictionary and this dictionary has one element that is hide, yes. So this is how actually the JSON documents looks like. So JSON documents are nothing but uh, uh, the dictionary is in Python, but uh, the element or can say that a particular element may have a dictionary as uh, the value. So that is an extra thing is possible in JSON documents. Now how to parse this particular uh, JSON documents? Usually if you extract uh, anything from uh, the web servers like uh, the cloud storage or uh, the Twitter or you can say that the uh, Facebook, the entire information will be written in the uh, it will be returned in the form of JSON documents. So for example, if you extract uh, the tweets from Twitter, the data will be in the form of JSON document. So what we need to do is uh, we need to extract the content out of this particular JSON document and then we can use that particular data for further processing. So in the coming videos, I will be discussing how to extract uh, the tweets from uh, Twitter uh, th that will be in the form of JSON, uh, form, JSON form and then how to uh, extract a particular field from that particular thing and uh, process it at the later stage. So, uh, in this case, I want to extract the content of this particular different uh, elements that is name element, id element, x, phone, phone number and so on. So, first we will take a simple example. Uh, if you want to pass uh, the JSON documents, we need a JSON library. So, very first thing what we need to do is we need to import uh, JSON. So, that is the first thing we need to do. So, this is a JSON document uh, which is put into a variable called as data and this will be an input to your uh, program in this case. So this JSON document contains uh, two dictionaries. This is the first dictionary and this is the second dictionary. It, it means that there are two uh, informations are available. This is the first information, this is the second information. Within the first dictionary, we have three elements and uh, uh, associated values are, uh, are present. In this case, uh, each and every element is uh, the simple element. There is nothing called as a nested uh, uh, dictionaries are present here. Now, if you want to extract the, uh, the values out of these particular dictionaries, this is the first dictionary and this is the second dictionary or you can say the JSON document. First, we need to load this particular data with the help of loads function of uh, JSON. So, we will load that particular data and into a particular variable. In this case, the variable name is info. Now, what will happen here? So, this will be loaded as a first element of info and this will be the second element of info. So, how many elements are there in info? There are two elements are there. So, info is nothing but what we can say that it is nothing but a, a list in this case. So, that is the reason uh, the syntax of uh, JSON is uh, inherited from uh, list and data, uh, dictionaries of uh, Python. So, entire uh, JSON document will be put in into uh, info 
in this case info contains two elements this is the first element and this is the second element so we will uh, try to print how many number of user informations are there with the help of uh, length info so in this case there are two elements as uh, are there so definitely it will print you two here the next we try to print the details of user that is what is the id what is the x and what is the name of that particular uh, user so what we need to do is uh, the info contains two elements this is the first element this is the second element uh, read the first element that is for item in info so what will happen this ele element will be uh, copied into item in the second iteration this will be copied into item so when once it is copied how to get this particular thing for example i want to know name so what i can do here is so item contains what item is pointing here now so now if you want to know what is the value present at name so item of name so item of name is nothing but what uh, mahesh in this case so if you want to know what is the value present at x so where item is pointing it is pointing here so item of x is equal to 2 will be printed to you item of id will be 001 will be printed to you in the second iteration these three values will be printed to you so uh, item of name item of x item of uh, id so where the item is pointing so in every iteration the item is pointing over here so with, with this particular thing we will be able to print the values of uh, uh, both the users so there are two users are there the user details are name id x name id x this is the first user information and this is the second user information now there is another possibility in this case i have not uh, taken uh, the nested dictionaries for uh, json documents so let us say that uh, we will take this example in this case again we need to import uh, json and then uh, there are uh, the first three elements are uh, simple elements they don't have any uh, nested dictionaries or uh, anything as such so in this case if you go with the phone number here so phone is a uh, element or you can say a key consisting of dictionary as a value here and this particular uh, phone uh, dictionary contains two more elements type and number similar to the second element also the same thing here now what i want to do is i want to extract all this particular thing so first i need to load this data into a particular variable uh, that is called in this case it's a info so json dot loads data everything will be loaded into info so this will be so from here to here it is one document so it will be uh, the one user information so it will be put into info uh, the first element of info this is second ele element of info in this case so now what i do is i will print uh, how many number of uh, student uh, you can say that user information are there so in this case it will be 2 now i will try to print uh, the details so first i will uh, what i am supposed to do i need to get uh, the one element out of info so whenever i read the first element this is the first element so whenever i read the first element where i have read it i have read it into item so where the item is pointing this is the first element where the item is pointing so item is pointing here now now if you want to know the at, uh, the values of each and every keys so item is pointing here so i want to know what is the value of id so how, how can i get it item of id is uh, will give you 001 item of x will give you 2 in this case item of name will give you this value item of phone will give you entire information i am not interested in entire information i am interested in this particular type so item of phone number of type will give you mobile item of phone number of number will give you this value similarly for the second element also so how can i write this one item of name item of id item of x individually because they are the simple elements but when it comes to phone it contains the nested elements here so item is pointing here so item of phone of type item of phone of number will give you these two values so that is what i have written here item of phone of type item of phone of number so this is how actually we need to do for example it may happen that uh, this may contain uh, this may be a nested one for example uh, uh, this particular thing may be uh, first i will show you the output so this is how actually the output will look like so the type and mobile were reprinted here now let us say that uh, this number is a nested one so in that case uh, we will be having something like this as the thing okay so let us say that uh, this particular thing is nested so i will take this one and uh, within that i will try to put some uh, values so let us say that uh, uh, this will contain i just take an example xyz colon uh, this is the string so i will put it in single quote xyz uh, the value is one two three four in this case uh, similar to this i will take this one over here also and then i will put value is equal to uh, 4321 here 
now i want to print the value of this particular x so how can i do that one so where item is pointing the item is pointing here so item of phone number item of phone of number of xyz so something like that we can print it here so if i just print it over here you will be getting uh, property name to be printed in uh, the double quotes i think we have made a mistake here yeah this one this one should be present within double quotes or it can be present in single quotes also it's not a big issue so what we do here is this one also we will try to put it in double quotes so that is the best option so here also i'll put double quotes and then here also i will put double quotes now i'll try to execute it so what is the thing it is printed here number what is number printed here what i have tried to print is item of phone of number so that is item is pointing here item of phone of number will print you entire thing here i am not interested in this one i am interested in only what xyz component so what i can do rather than doing this one here i will put within single quote xyz so if i do this one so what will happen here is the value of xyz will be printed rather than displaying the entire dictionary so what is the value of number uh, number this is a dictionary so that was printed earlier i am not interested in this dictionary i am interested in the value of xyz so what i can do here is i can put extra thing that is xyz now if i execute the value of xyz will be printed as the number in this case that is uh, 4 3 2 1 uh, I, i will write it something like this so that we can understand it xyz so number within the number xyz what is the value of that particular thing will be printed here so this is how actually what we can do is we can write uh, uh, json documents Uh, and then we can pass the json documents using uh, what we can say that uh, json uh, library i hope the concept of uh, json documents and uh, the passing of json document is uh, clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching